Yusel Pesero came to Friendship Park to see her mother for the first time in nine years. Her aunt is saying, may God bless you, be strong to keep moving forward. Yusel cannot cross into Mexico because her visa is still in process, so leaving the country is prohibited. I'm seeing my mom. It's been nine years since I last saw her, and it's difficult for me to be leaving her again, to know that I can't touch her and that I have to leave. Years ago, Friendship Park was a place where families could come see and touch one another, even if just that. But the recent fences and rules in place here make touching impossible. Enrique Morones, a member of the Friends of Friendship Park Coalition, is helping to make the park an open space where people on both sides of the border can come in and interact. People want to go there to have that touch with their neighbors, express that love across the border. And how can you do that if you're standing in a cage? Although Yusei got to at least see her mother today, not everyone was so lucky. This woman was deported back to Mexico from the U.S. She's here waiting for her husband who has cancer and remains in the United States. They haven't seen each other in over a year. I came today so we could at least be able to cross some words. He's in his terminal phase of cancer and I couldn't get my visa to go be with him. The road to Friendship Park has been flooded for a few weeks now, so it wasn't possible for this woman's husband to make the 35-minute hike up to the park in his advanced stage of cancer. It's difficult and sad to come see your family without being able to hug them or kiss them. It's difficult. For JMS Reports, Diana Barreto.